the energy. You know, that's the main thing. When I seen the rim, that's all I seen. I'm gonna try to take it away from you, but <laughs> uh, Steve challenged him. We won, um, so thank him for that. What would you have done if you didn't challenge her? Nothing. You know, I feel that Dunk would still be alive. <laughs> Were you surprised at the moment, like, when you saw offensive foul? Yeah, I was like, what? Uh, but, you know, they tried to take it away, but maybe they didn't see it fully through. You know, that's what the challenge is for. You had you had 27 tonight. It's, you've mostly been in the teens in these playoffs. What do you think got you going a bit even more offensively? Um, you know, just staying locked in, you know, staying aggressive. Um, And <clears throat> with every game, with every series, you know, a different challenge, you know, different opponent, different type of basketball. So, you've been in a bunch of these, you know, really tense playoff games now with Draymond, Steph, and Clay. What have you learned from them about, you know, capitalizing on these these type of moments? Um, you know, just not taking nothing for granted. You know, <clears throat> even though, like, we're up now. Um, the closeout games are the hardest. You know, these guys aren't gonna go out without a fight. Um, and, you know, they're a tough team, you know, so the job's not finished. We still got to stay locked in and, you know, finish the job. You hear a lot of guys talk about how the playoffs are a com completely different game than the regular season. And, you know, playoff Draymond has been a, a term that's been coined because he elevates his game to the next level during the postseason. Do you feel that with the intensity and that everything comes with playing in this extended postseason run that that's kind of led to you just really continuing to be assertive and aggressive and dominant? All throughout this run, um, yeah, you know, playoffs is a uh, is different than the regular season. You know, it's very detailed. Um, the physicality, um, you're allowed to get away with a little bit more stuff. Um, um, so I love it. You know, I feel like you're bringing up the most, and everybody, you know, it's the biggest stage you can ask for. Where do you rank that on your your nasty list? Big conversation and, after, and, the, after the game. Does the NBA allow charges in Duncan world? <laughs> Yeah. Um, I don't know. I swear that I got a lot of nice. Posts. To try to be on my good side, why? You guys I don't even know. What was the second question? Like, should, should they allow? Right. So, but, and why send it to me? To uh, nah. I mean, unless it's know, like blatantly just obvious, make a conversation, but, you know, make sure I'm at her ass. But I was like, girl, you can't do nothing. Put that to me. Down. What did you see on that one? But I was like, um, I, 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 there, so I just I tried it. <laughs> Andrew, um, you know, your experience being on kind of losing teams, does that make this experience being this deep in the playoffs, being one win away from the finals even sweeter? Um, yeah. Um, definitely. You know, some people never get the opportunity. Um, so you can't take it for granted. And the you know, same you thing with Tom and the baby, she was like, you're chasing and, the bag. You know, Shit. The, I said, I'm chasing the bag. Family and the like, teammates that you're grinding with to get there. Um, and I so said, excited. stay so, out my path. What point did you have real confidence that this team men. could win well, it all? That this was a legitimate she, I was like, who the fuck? She likes the year, for sure. And I'm going to make sure she back. don't fuck up you know, so like everybody else can do it. You know, very very motivated motivated this ain't nobody else in the to have what have you, I guess, uh, seen from the coaching side of the playoffs? Just, you know, what your staff has done and just kind of the series to series game to game adjustments that come at this time of year. Um, it's tough, you know, and, <clears throat> you know, they're doing a great job. You know, every game is oh different. Every God. series is different. And the adjustments they make, even on the fly, you know, is a lot. Um, so I get credit to them. Difficult. You guys change defenses a ton. A lot of times, just like you know, mm -hmm. within the game, how, how difficult is that um, to always kind of, I guess, be like monitoring the sideline and switching? Yeah, up? it's not that difficult. You know, we we have a lot of guys. You know, a lot of good leaders. You know, and Draymond, Lou, they're very vocal. You know, on the defensive side, and they're gonna let you know. And they're not. If they don't let you know, Mike Brown's gonna be yelling from the sidelines. <laughs> so you're gonna hear somebody. They make the job easier. You talk about how you don't get tired. Steve was just talking about that a little bit too. What do you attribute to that? Um, you know, I try to eat healthy, try to get some sleep, live a good lifestyle. And summertime, I condition my body for moments like this. Have you done any kind of different conditioning since you joined the Warriors compared to years past? Nah, basically the same thing. Anything else?